I have not added to my zoo. God help me if I add to my zoo. I don't have the space for that. <laughs> I have time or space for that. Nova's still enough to handle. Um, so I lied. <laughs> So I'd like you all to meet Apollo. Um, at this point in filming, he is about nine weeks old. He'll be nine weeks old on Monday. Um, but this is my baby. I picked him up when he was just about eight weeks old. Um, by the time you guys will see this, it'll be he'll be a bit older. He'll be four months in July, so that's when you're seeing this. So right now it is end of May. I picked him up mid-May and he's my little guy. So he's a full bred golden retriever, just like Cosmo. Um, no, I did not go to the same place that I got Cosmo. Um, that place actually stopped breeding a long time ago. Um, this was actually just a hunter who has a couple of female goldens. He decided to breed them and had puppies. So he is my little guy and he drives me crazy, but that's puppyhood but yeah so he was born uh, march 22nd 2021 and he is um an american breed red golden retriever which just means obviously that his coloration is red and american goldens tend to have longer snouts and they tend to be taller and lankier than the british breed which tends to be the shorter stockier version with a boxier head and a shorter snout so yes, he is my little guy. He and Cosmo are getting along good. Um, he and Nova are mostly getting along good. Uh, he wants very badly, he's actually looking at Nova right now, well, not anymore, but he, whenever he looks off this way, he's looking at Nova. Um, he wants the cat to like him. The cat's just not sure about him yet, but yes. <laughs> now, before anybody starts to say anything, this has been part of the plan, part of the plan for about a year. So I have lied many times over the last year that I had no intention of getting a dog anytime, another dog anytime soon, that um, I did not have space, time, or anything like that for another dog. I was actually lying because I didn't want to say anything about him at all. Very few people knew I was getting a dog. I told a very select few people in my life and mostly because I wasn't sure what I was going to do. Was I going to get another golden? Was I not? And that's what the rest of this video is going to be, is the journey to when I picked up this little guy. This, ah, this sweet guy right here. This sweet boy, this sweet boy. But yeah, so Apollo is, like I said, a full-blooded golden retriever, American breed. Both his parents were red American breed goldens. And uh, he is the snuggliest dog ever, aren't you? I mean, the snuggliest dog ever. He naps with me. He's so sweet. But he and I are going to go into agility together, which you guys will see on this channel. Um, I do have plans of doing like initial training and initial journey into agility um, on this channel. And uh, then, of course, vlogging. Well, you'll see a lot more about agility. So do uh, subscribe to my vlogging channel because obviously there's going to be tons of puppy content there. There will also be tons of puppy content here. There are a few videos coming up this whole month, basically, except for next week, is all about Apollo. So this one is introducing you guys to Apollo. And, um, yeah, you can just chew on my hair, then you can go play. <laughs> um, this week is introducing you to Apollo and showing you guys the vlog that I did during the time frame where I was going through a lot. Next week is Cosmo's birthday week. It won't be his birthday when the video goes live. His birthday is the day before, I think, if I remember the calendar correctly. Um, but either way, Cosmo, is, his birthday is next week. So instead of doing anything Apollo related, I decided I wanted to do something Cosmo related. So I'm going to tell you guys the story of finding the breeder for Cosmo. And I will say this, I will not accept any, any comments 
I am very protective of my heart. I am very protective of my animals. I will not accept any judgment for choosing to go with a breeder versus going through a shelter. Um, I have my reasons and I'm not going to defend myself for those reasons because there's absolutely no reason to defend myself because there should not be this judgment. I full heartedly disagree with the adopt don't shop mentality because of how judgmental it has become in today's world and it's really frustrating for somebody who makes the right decision for themselves and that right decision for them is to go through a breeder like myself. So I will not accept any kind of comments that are judgmental. Um, I am fully capable of taking constructive criticism, but when you are judging my decisions, when you don't know my life and you don't know my, my existence, it's just, it's not okay and I will not stand for that kind of stuff. So just so you are aware, that is something that I'm going to be very protective of and I will be very block heavy uh, um, if I see any kind of judgment about my decision. But I did make the decision to go through a breeder again, just like I did with Cosmo. And again, I have my reasons and I'm not going to justify them here because they are none of your business. Um, I don't have to explain myself. But I do want to say I am going to be very protective of my heart and I am not going to stand for any kind of judgment at all. So, but yes, Apollo and I are going to go into agility together. We are going to have so much fun um, kind of going down some really fun routes together and bonding. And I'm very excited to take you guys along the journey. Um, so like I said, this week is introducing you guys to Apollo. And uh, later in this video, you're gonna see the vlog of me kind of getting to this point of having the puppy. Then next week will be Cosmo's week on my channel. And then the week after that, you're always going to see um, a small business haul of when I got a whole bunch of stuff for Apollo, um, toys, things like that. And I'm gonna do more um, just because I do wanna continue getting stuff from small businesses. I do need to get his adult collar eventually. So obviously we're gonna be doing more and I really want to do stuff um, involving that for sure because I want, to pr I want to support small businesses more than I want to support Petco, PetSmart, Chewy, that kind of thing, Amazon. And I know you can do um, small business shopping on Amazon as well, but I feel better about going through places like Etsy or things like that. So there you go, so that'll be that week. And then you'll also see a vlog about the day I went to go get Apollo and the one that I'm working on right now, which is Apollo's first month here. What was it like dealing with a puppy again for the first time in 13 years? I'm gonna tell you in that vlog. So that's what's coming up, plus a lot of other puppy content. Um, now that I'm doing puppy stuff again firsthand, I'm gonna give all kinds of tips about things that I'm currently doing with Apollo that are helping me train him. And I hope you guys are here for the ride. If you guys have any questions or anything you guys wanna see coming up, let me know in the comments below. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video, which is going to be a very disjointed vlog because it was done in different different days whenever I felt like updating. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be very disjointed, so here it is. Hope you guys all enjoy, and I'll see you guys all next time, bye. Hi, Cosmo, are you coming to join us? Yeah? You don't even actually know what's about to happen to you. Not to you what's gonna happen in a family. So this is the first entry. Uh, I know. This is the first entry into uh, bringing home Apollo and I'm very excited right now. I'm very happy I found my breeder. Um, and if you guys don't know anything about looking for a breeder, um, it's really hard. Um, you know, I applaud people who want to go to shelters and who do go to shelters. I have family that does. I mean, my sister's dog, Ace, came from a shelter and he's a great dog. My aunt only ever goes to shelters. Um, one of my aunts, my, uh, my personal viewpoint on that is if that's what you want to do, fantastic, go for it. Um, however, for me personally, that's not something that I've ever really personally wanted to do um, for many reasons and I am thrilled to share this experience with you. I wish I would have come up with this idea prior to right now 
but unfortunately I just didn't. Um, so you didn't get to experience the trouble that I did experience in finding a breeder and then starting to realize as we started vetting this breeder that things probably weren't going to work out very well. Um, so I take breeders very seriously. I vet my breeders and I make sure that my breeders are good. I don't like people obviously who um, overbreed their dogs or treat their dogs poorly. And the breeder that I did find is just a young family with two golden retrievers and they breed their dogs once a year and they stay in touch with their dogs that they um, send out to families. This breeder said that she's going to be sending a Apollo um, birthday and Christmas gifts. So that's crazy. Even Cosmos Breeder didn't do that after about a year. Cosmos Breeder stopped putting as much emphasis and staying in touch with us. Um, and I haven't actually spoken with her in many years now. So. Um, it's really great to know that this breeder is going to stay in contact. This breeder is going to want updates and things like that. Um, but I've been on the hunt for a breeder for a very long time. I wasn't sure I was going to go with another golden retriever, but when push came to shove, it just made the best sense for me. It just made sense. So I'm thrilled to go through this again. I'm also terrified to go through this again. <laughs> I haven't gone through this in 12 years. This is crazy. So I picked a breeder. I was originally going to get a Collie. That was the original plan. Um, but that fell through because after vetting that particular breeder, turns out this breeder bred dogs with a lot of behavioral issues. And when the breeder was making uh, replies or official statements about it, was not taking responsibility, was actually pushing blame onto the new pet owner saying that Collies just have a very different personality. And while obviously that's true, Collies are a very different kind of dog than a lot of other dogs, as I did research on them because that was what I was going to get, there is such a thing as needing to take responsibility for your part in a dog with behavioral issues as a breeder and she just wasn't willing to do that. So I kind of started from square one and I ended up finding a group on Facebook that is all reputable breeders um, and that the admins actually vet the breeders and do all of that, you know, for you. Um, the questions that are asked before you can join for the breeders specifically, because we got to see them as people who are looking into getting a dog were very legitimate. How often do you breed? Um, are your dogs inside or outside dogs? Do your dogs get plenty of exercise? Um, you know, all kinds of things like that. And I am very happy. I didn't find this breeder through that group per se. I actually found them through somebody else in that group who got their dog from them and said, hey, this breeder is fantastic. Um, and I think that this is exactly what you'll be looking for. And so I had a conversation with them this morning and they seem fantastic and I'm very excited to work with them. Um, so this is going to be such an exciting time of my life going through all of this. <laughs> it's just going to be wild. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, we're gonna start looking up um, all the things I need for puppies because I haven't had a puppy in 12 years. So Cosmo has not had a crate in 12 years. Granted, he did not do well with crate training. So I actually did not have a crate for very long. I don't have puppy toys. I don't have the right training treats. I need to do research on puppy food. This is going to be so weird, but you know, what's different is this time I know what I'm expecting because when I was 21 and I brought home Cosmo, I was almost 22, but when I was 21 and I brought home Cosmo, I had no real idea <laughs> what I was doing. We had a dog growing up. We had a German Shepherd. His name was Dakota. He was fantastic, but 
I didn't experience the we're getting a puppy, here is everything we're gonna need and all the things we're gonna need to know. And plus for the most part, Dakota was an outside dog. Dakota would come in at night and sleep or if it was storming or really, really cold, he would come in um, inside the house. But for the most part, he lived outside and he was very happy with that life. Um, Obviously, that wasn't a choice for Cosmo since I lived in an apartment. Um, but now I couldn't imagine having an outside dog. Like, I can't even imagine that. Um, but I didn't, I didn't have to experience any of that. Plus, again, because Dakota was mostly an outside dog, we never had to crate train. And I didn't understand crate training back when I was 21. I didn't understand it. Like, I was told exactly what to do but I didn't understand why and now that I've worked in the pet industry and worked with trainers for like over 10 years I truly do understand what crate training is and how to do it and why you're doing what you're doing and so it's gonna be a wild ride and I'm very excited for it but I'm also terrified <laughs> So, I hope you guys are along for the ride, and before anybody decides to judge me or yell at me for choosing to go through a breeder, like I said, it's a very personal decision where you choose to get your dog from, and as long as you give that dog a loving home, there is no wrong or right way to get a dog as long as you give that dog a home. That being said, we do need to make a stand against puppy mills because them as a unit, as an industry, is very, very dangerous. Not all breeders are puppy mills and it's up to the person choosing to get the dog that is gonna have to make sure that they're getting a dog from a reputable breeder because reputable breeders do exist and they are good. But if you choose to not go that way, that is your personal choice and there should be no judgment for that. There should be no judgment for people who choose to go to breeders, especially reputable breeders. But again, as long as you give a dog a loving home, there is no wrong or right way to do it, so. All right, oh, let's get a puppy. So I just got word this morning that this feels so weird to vlog on this camera. I've never vlogged on this camera. This camera's always been <laughs> just hanging out. Anyway, I just got word this morning that Apollo's mom is in heat. And so I did some quick math. The dog, based on averages, that means the puppy will come home roughly at the latest, like June, early June. That all of a sudden, now I'm just all of a sudden freaking out. Just absolutely 100% freaking out. Like I have not had a puppy in 12 years. Wait, there, 12 years. So I'm freaking out just a little bit. The puppy may come home in June. Well, I mean, that's what I was planning on. I've been planning on May or June was kind of my preferred time frame because it gets me past all of the busy stuff at work, which we're entering into right now. And um, so we're kind of at a standstill at work, probably not a lot of training, so I don't have to be at work for a week, maybe a week and a half, maybe two weeks, I'm wondering. But oh, I just wanna request a time off now, but I can't because I don't know when the dog is gonna come home. I can't figure out when the dog comes home until the puppy's been born. Oh my goodness, I'm so freaking out. I have so much I still have to do. I found the crate, I haven't bought it yet, but I found the crate. Um, and I think, I think the crate will either go right here, which would be kind of a bummer because that's kind of where Cosmo sleeps right now, or it'll go back here since I haven't, we haven't actually done anything with this closet yet. We have plans for that closet. <laughs> But I just haven't done anything with that closet yet. So I don't know that. Oh my goodness, I'm freaking out though. I'm freaking out. But yeah, so either the crate will go back there, which will freak the cat out every time she tries to use her litter box. Um, or it'll go right here and Cosmo's just gonna have to learn right here by my bed. Or else Cosmo's just gonna have to learn. And I, this is residuals from the video that I filmed uh, about cleaning up my closet. I just haven't um, <laughs> put those into a bag yet. <laughs> Those are the ones I'm donating. Anyway, um, yeah, so I just, I don't know. I'm freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. On January 19th, the mom dog got pre uh, went into heat and the pregnancy didn't take. And if you guys know anything about breeding dogs, you guys know that that means that I'm back to square one in finding a breeder. I'm really devastated. Because 
I was really looking forward to that and I don't even know if this is even gonna see the light of day because I don't know if I'm gonna get a dog. <laughs> I'm just feeling very lost, very hopeless right now. So since this is supposed to be about the search for dog, <laughs> I'm bringing home Apollo if that even ever happens. No. <laughs> oh. So after my breakdown yesterday, I started searching and I ended up finding puppies that are born already. <laughs> um, they are golden doodles and that scares me because I've never had a hair dog before. So I'm very curious about what that's gonna feel like, what that's gonna be like. But I'm really feeling the idea of these golden doodles. I have found a couple of other golden retriever breeders, but honestly, I really like this lady that I've been talking to. It's a she has a hobby farm and she really takes good care of her dogs and I just I really like her. Um and the puppies are really dark and she's already picked like the one out for me um just because I said that I wanted her darkest like I wanted a dark male and because um, if you guys don't know Cosmo is like a medium red golden and for some reason that has just stuck with me for years as like my ideal golden color um, and so yeah I am thinking I might get a golden doodle jury's still out still thinking but um, I'm feeling much better today than I was yesterday clearly I'm not crying but uh, I felt heartbroken. I felt like I lost the puppy. Like, I feel like, I felt like, you know, the puppy was there and then the puppy wasn't. I have to remind, remind myself the puppy was never there. Um, the puppy never existed. But in my heart, the puppy existed. And, um, and that, re <sighs> and that was really hard to deal with. But, I am feeling so much better and I really think this is what I'm going to do. So this weekend I need to get my rear in gear, start buying stuff because I have not bought anything because I was waiting to buy stuff because I wanted to know if the dog was pregnant. Clearly the dog's not pregnant, but now I'm getting a dog next month, probably. Oh my God, I'm getting a dog in April. Oh, okay. Anyway, that's the update. Okay, so here is the most recent update on Apollo. Um, <laughs> so I think the last place I left this was found out that the original mom dog did not get pregnant. I was horrifyingly upset. That night I kind of went crazy and started searching for a new puppy. Um, and I found two options. Um, I found <laughs> doodles that were already born uh, but the idea of hair dogs just scares the crap out of me because I'm, I've never had a hair dog before I know that that's gonna increase cost by quite a bit um, and then the other one being a golden retriever but the golden retriever isn't born yet is pregnant isn't born yet or the mom dog is pregnant but isn't born yet the puppy is expected to be born at the end of this month <laughs> So I had this antagonizing just decision I had to make based on did I want to pick up a dog next month or am I getting a dog now in May when I was expecting to get a dog in June. So um, it was a really hard decision because this one was I had first choice of males. I kind of already picked the one I wanted. He was the darkest male that the litter had. And then I also had this opportunity of getting this other one that wasn't born yet. Now the reason why this one was so hard was because I have fourth pick of the male litter. Uh, and there is no guarantee that four males will be born for this litter. So it was a really hard decision. It is definitely still a gamble, but I'm going with the golden retriever. And so I told the um, breeder of the doodle, I said, hold on, hold back, you know, hold on if the puppy goes the puppy goes it means the puppy was never supposed to be mine but if four males aren't born and that puppy is still available that doodle is still available I'm getting the doodle which means I'm getting a dog next month and I'm freaking out um, which means I have a lot 
that I need to figure out before the puppy comes home. So I'm freaking out. This is such a crazy experience. This is so different than the experience when I got Cosmo. I The biggest like drama that happened when I got Cosmo was I got turned down from a breeder because I had no intention of hunting with him. My intention for him was to become a therapy dog and to be licensed as an ESA, a uh, real ESA, not just go on the internet and list your dog as an ESA, like actual therapy dog that is listed as an ESA correctly. <laughs> Um, anyway, and Apollo will be the same. Apollo will go through therapy training, and then once he goes through therapy training, then he will likely be assigned as my ESA. Um, I'm still trying to decide if it's time to retire Cosmo, because the, the difference between ESAs and, and service dogs is that, I mean, there's a lot of differences, but as far as retirement goes, you don't have to retire an ESA. Uh, you do have to eventually retire a service dog. So there's a chance that Cosmo can continue to do his job forever um, until he's no longer with us. Um, but that's a decision down the line. That's a decision when Apollo's like two. So let's hope, let's hope for lots of males. But I think that'll be the next update. The puppies will be born and I'll know whether or not I'm getting a doodle or a golden or if I'm starting back from square one again. <sighs> this is crazy. I'll see you guys when I have more clarity or not at all, <laughs> who knows. All right, so I got um, Apollo's crate in today. So this should be interesting. I wanna make sure that it's gonna fit where I wanna put it, which is um, right here between Nodley's tank and my computer. So that is the goal. Whether or not it happens is a whole other conversation. Um, because it's huge. So the crate that I got is um, from the brand Frisco and it is a two door crate and you can't see it. Um, it's a two door crate and it's got a divider so that it can grow with Apollo. So that's the plan. Um, it's massive, but that's because this is the size that they recommended for a golden retriever. Now, you may be saying, Britt, you already have a golden retriever. You should remember or even still have the crate that you had with Cosmo. And that is a very good um, thing to mention, actually. You're, you're absolutely right. Uh, except for the fact that I never actually crate trained Cosmo. <laughs> I learned things, okay? Anyway, um, so Cosmo didn't take while to crate training. <laughs> and um, so I never actually crate trained him. He lived in my bathroom when I was out of the apartment and uh, when I was sleeping until he was old enough to where I felt like I could trust him around the apartment by himself. Um, so there's that. So now I need to get this sucker open. So I'm going to go get a uh, scissors. Let's try this. I'm a little scared. Okay, perfect. We got it. It's also not something I should be doing by myself because it's heavy and awkward and I have a bad bag, but I make poor life choices, so it's fine. Oh my gosh, there's already a bed in it. I was not expecting there to be a bed in it. But there is, that's nice. I've never purchased a wire, ah, a wire crate before. My only experience with ah, a wire crate is my sister's dog. And she had a pillow in there, but not a bed. So that's interesting. 
Oh, she may have not gotten this brand. I don't know. Okay. Oh, success. The crate is out. Okay. So, the box can go bye bye. All right, so here's the crate. Let's go ahead and put this sucker together. I mean, it's, it's together, it just needs to be unfolded. So, let's do that. I think it's gonna fit where I want to put it. Oh my god, is it gonna fit? Oh my god! Oh, it fits perfectly. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it fits perfectly. It fits perfect. Oh, good lord. Yeah. Good it's lord. perfect. It is it's beautiful. It's nice. It came with a bed. Well, that'll last two seconds. Well, with the puppy, it should. Puppy, it should be fine. And then here's the divider that I can put in. For the moment. For the moment, as he grows a little bit. But look at that, it fits perfect. When I first took it out, I was like, that ain't gonna oh, fit. Holy crap. <laughs> that ain't gonna fit. I figured when I saw that box, it was like, that's a big crate, but it would have to be. Yeah, to be fair though, the reason why, well, I guess, I mean, it's, it, yeah, because it would be the length of it, you know, the size of the box is basically it wide. So. It's beautiful. It's nice. Yeah. So. What do you think of it? She's like, I don't like it. I don't know what, what it do is. What do you I think of it? I don't like it, Grandma. What do you think? When you're nodding over, I'm just going to lock you in there. Aww. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, you want to go upstairs? You have it down here? Okay, let's go. <laughs> Nova gets to go upstairs. Okay, handheld with this camera. This is this is weird. So, as you guys know, I got a crate for Apollo. Um, and I also got, I'm gonna try not to show it because there is going to be um, a haul on my channel, but I also got a blanket for his bed and I wanted to make sure that it fit completely, that I ordered the right size. Figured I did, but I wanted to make sure. Um, so I took the bed that the crate came with and put it up on top. And now I have the heart to take it off because Nova has been using it when I'm at work. So while I'm working, which the crate is right next to my desk, while I'm working, she just hangs out right there and sleeps right there. It is the cutest thing. She's just so precious. So I'm gonna need to get her a bed for on top of the crate for when I put his bed back in there. But 
Apollo isn't even born yet. So like, I'm thinking it can stay there for a little while. But that is the cutest thing. I love my cat. She is so precious. Yes, I basically just woke up. <laughs> Uh, it's currently five o'clock in the morning and yesterday I sent a message to the breeder t that I haven't heard from in a while and the puppies were due on the 23rd. So if you guys don't know, dogs don't have due dates, they have whelping windows. And generally the whelping window is about five days long and he gave me the date of the 23rd. So I don't know what that meant about the whelping window. I wasn't sure if that meant the beginning of the whelping window, middle of the whelping window, or end of the whelping window. And so if it was the beginning of the whelping window, that would have ended on Saturday. Now granted, just like humans, dogs can be overdue. So I decided to send him a message yesterday to ask him if there were any updates. And he sent me this video in response last night. He didn't qualify it, so I'm guessing that means there were enough males, um, and I think Apollo was born. That's so crazy to think that Apollo is currently born. I keep looking at his crate going, holy crap, I'm gonna fill that crate soon. May. He comes home in May. Yeah, you don't, the cat's staring at me like, what are you doing? And I'm like, you have no idea what I'm doing right now, do you? You have no idea what's happening in your life soon. But I, uh, I think Apollo has been born. That's wild. Like this journey has been immensely just emotional with having trouble finding thinking of what dog to get, deciding on a specific kind of dog, finding out that breeder really wasn't a good breeder, and then um, deciding I wanted another golden to having a relationship in with a breeder that I was really excited about, their dog not getting pregnant, and then um, finding a golden doodle <laughs> that would be coming home in April and then thinking that's just too soon and then finding this guy where there was a chance I was not gonna get a dog from the from this guy because I have third choice or fourth choice of male just <sighs> there's just a lot happening right now in my head and uh, this has been a very stressful end of winter um, as I've set out on this journey but here we are March 30th and Apollo may have just been born yesterday this is wild you guys I mean Cosmo was so much easier my biggest drama I think I may have said this earlier in the video but my biggest drama of when Cosmo was born was being turned down by a breeder because I wasn't going to take him out hunting. Like that was my biggest drama. Um, one of the first people I contacted was a breeder who specialized in hunting dogs. And I knew I wanted a darker golden and hunting dogs tend to be darker goldens because the American breeds tend to be darker goldens and the American breeds are the ones that tend to be bigger hunting dogs where the British breed tends to be more show dog and they tend to be lighter in color. So I knew I wanted an American breed dog and um, Cosmo is a weird mix of the American and British breed, which is why he's so massive. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, and they turned me down because he was going to be a family pet who would eventually be trained in therapy and ESA work. Um, like I said, he's properly trained ESA many times in my life because I know so many people who abuse that system and 
Cosmo is not one of those dogs, and Apollo will not be one of those dogs. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just, you guys. <sighs> Apollo may be born. <laughs> This is the best news I this is the best news I've heard in a while. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's where I'm at. So, April 1st, 2021. I woke up with the greatest news today. So remember that video I showed you? Um there are five boys and one girl in that video. So there are six puppies, so it's not that big of a litter. But um Apollo is officially born and just waiting to be old enough to come home. We're finally at the end of this journey and Apollo is coming home in May. This is wild. Do you even understand like how wild this all is? This has been such a difficult journey. And he's finally coming home. Oh, okay. Oh, next update will be the actual date that I get to bring him home. So, cool. <laughs> um, I haven't done an update in a little while, basically, since I found out that Apollo was born, pretty much. So, a lot has happened since then. Like him, almost dying. Uh, which was really upsetting for me in many ways, but also I was really disappointed that I wasn't going to be able to possibly wasn't going to be able to uh, pack train um, Apollo, which is so important. It was going to be so much easier to potty train, so much easier to manners train, just so much, so many, so much easier. I can speak, but obviously Cosmo's fine, right Cosmo? Cosmo, thank you. See, see, his head is up, his head is up, he's sitting, he's fine. Um, he's wanting me to say a word that I haven't said yet today and we've I've been saying it every day because we do it around, we, we take a W-A-L-K around the yard every day and we haven't done that yet today and he's freaking out. Anyway, so there's that update. But also, um, Apollo comes home in like 15 days or so. I'm letting the breeder decide if he's coming home on the 14th or on the 15th of, of May. I just sent that text to him today saying, hey, everything's good, 14th or 15th, you make the decision. So either the 14th or the 15th, either 15 or 16 days until Apollo comes home, um, I'm freaking out. I'm like genuinely freaking out. I mean, I'm ready because like, <laughs> I have his crate fully set up and ready to go. Nova still uses his bed. Um, I have just decided that since it's not a crated bottom, it's just a tray at the bottom, that it's fine that he just has the blanket that I got him off of Etsy, um, which you guys will see all of the stuff that I got for him from Etsy in a future video coming up. I don't remember if that's next week or the week after. Anyway, not the point. Um, this camera's heavy. Anyway, so there's that. And, uh, but so I'm, I'm ready for Apollo to come home. Like I'm fully ready. It's just like physically and mostly like emotionally ready, but man, he's actually coming. Like this is actually happening. This has been a conversation that I've been having with myself for since I worked at Petco. So we're talking since like 2015, likely, uh, when I started thinking about getting another puppy. And it was always like something that I was gonna put off, something I was putting off, putting off, putting off, putting off, putting off. And now here it is today, <laughs> two weeks essentially before Apollo comes home and I get a new puppy and he's here and I don't even know what to think. It's ridiculous to think like, I don't know. Anyway, that's where I am emotionally right now. Mom and I are gonna go and pick him up and I'm so excited. It's gonna be just like when we went to go get Cosmo. She and I also were the ones who went and picked up Cosmo. Cosmo will not come. He doesn't like long car rides. He doesn't like car rides at all. So I don't wanna stress him out, especially after his, you know, health crisis that he went through. So, not gonna do that to my poor puppy. But anyway, um, so it's gonna be really fun and I'm probably gonna drive there and then mom will probably drive back so that I can hold Apollo um, while 
we're on the car ride because that's what I did with Cosmo and I felt like that was such a great bonding experience between the two of us and I really liked that so I want to do that again with him um but yeah it's about the same amount of drive from St. Cloud to Spooner as it is from here to uh, Spooner, Wisconsin by the way to wherever the breeder actually is I can't remember the name of the town he also needs to text me his address anyway so that's where we're at emotionally Apollo is coming home I mean this might be the end of this video <laughs> I might do one more like freak out the day before but this might be the end of this video and the next video is either the Apollo getting Apollo stuff or like you know um, getting the stuff from Etsy or uh, bringing him home oh uh, my gosh this is really happening I am freaking out but Anyway, it's all good stuff. It's all good freaking out, like I'm excited. But also, I'm not gonna have sleep <laughs> for a while. I took the whole week off from work to just let him wake me up as much as he needs to in that first week and hope that he can at least sleep through most of the night by the time I go back to work. I expect to have to be woken up a couple times throughout the night still, but hopefully I'll get him on a decent schedule where, you know, hopefully, I can at least sleep a little bit <laughs> anyway oh you know what actually no there is one more update that needs to be done before Apollo comes home and that is putting lights in my entryway and putting light outside so that I have light for when I take Apollo and Cosmo potty outside in the middle of the night so do you have to go potty Cosmo do you have to go potty do you want to go for a walk around the yard okay let's go for a walk around the yard come on up 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 let's go He's like, I'm not getting up until you put your shoes on. All right, I'm gonna go take my dog for a walk around the yard. Thank you for listening to this very, very long freaking out update that I am giving you. I'll see you guys all in the next update. Okay, so I have started to tell my family and friends, uh, well, I've, I have told some family and friends about Apollo coming home already. Like obviously my parents know. I told my nieces and my nephew, plus my sister and brother-in-law obviously over Christmas Eve. Last night I started, I started the announcement on Facebook. Now when I announced Nova on Facebook, it was quite extra. Um, Custer helped me because Custer went to pick her up with me. Um, and so, and I was thinking maybe Custer was gonna come pick her up, pick Apollo up with me too, but then mom said she was willing to do it and it, she's like, that's our thing. We go get your dogs. And I was like, okay, sounds good. Cause she went with me to get Cosmo. Um, and so um, when we did that, we put together this little skit that I did, which was me just trying to find places with this, with my Mickey pillow to try and <laughs> raise the Mickey pillow up in the sky, we ended up going into the backyard, me standing on top of the bar outside at, on the patio, and then I raised Nova up, had battle wounds from that, had many battle wounds from that, and everybody loved that that's how I announced Nova. Now I was thinking of many ways to announce Apollo. Custer actually kind of helped me come up with a way of kind of using Homeward Bound, but that wasn't gonna work because I can't have Nova outside, so because obviously we have the older dog, the middle cat, and the younger dog, but that just wasn't gonna work out because I can't have Nova outside. She won't go on the harness. That kind of defeats the purpose of it being kind of homeward bound. So I was trying to think of other ways. I was gonna like hire um, voice actors from the same database that I am on to do voice acting and uh, kind of put together a little skit but then I decided a much better way to announce Apollo's coming home. So I bought this. <laughs> I've taken most of the photos already. Uh, this is the last one that I have to take except for the one with Apollo in it, um, which obviously I can't take today because Apollo's not here yet. But so basically I had this say Van has a secret, Langley has a secret, Suri has a secret, Haro has a secret, Nods has a secret. Her name is Nodley, but I mostly call her Nods these days. Nods has a secret, Nova has a secret, Cosmo has a secret, and now this one, which I'm waiting for my parents to get back. Then I'm gonna hold this, probably at my chest and like this. And I've been, so last night I posted the Van has a secret, this morning I posted Langley has a secret, 
and I'm just gonna keep going through until I've run out of these pictures and then um, it's just gonna be Apollo is the secret and then sitting next to Apollo with his um, <laughs> can't sh I can't tell you what it is because I haven't done that video on my main channel yet obviously that's next week but something a bandana that I got from um, Etsy for the small business haul um, puppy stuff and so he's gonna be wearing that with this and it's gonna say Apollo has a secret so I've taken all the animal pictures now and then we'll just do this one for I have a secret so see. That kind of thing. So here it is the day before I go and get Apollo freaking out just a little bit. I am panicking actually just a little bit like it's not really a panic attack but like there is a lot of anxiety <laughs> regarding going and getting a puppy like when I got Cosmo it was nothing but excitement and that was because I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I now know what I'm getting myself into. Sure, it's been almost 13 years since I've had a puppy, but I know what I'm getting myself into now. So, um, yeah, I'm freaking out just a little bit, but I'm also very, very excited. Uh, so I am obviously <laughs> gonna vlog tomorrow. It's gonna go on this channel, the main channel, and that is actually going to be, so next week's video is going to be um, all the stuff from small business that I bought for Apollo and then the week after that is the vlog in which I go and get Apollo so I am so excited obviously you've already seen him but oh, this is happening this is really really happening <laughs> and I'm freaking out just a little bit but <clears throat> either way I am so excited to go and get my puppy. I cannot believe the journey that I've been on from starting with one breeder, realizing that that breeder was not any good, going to uh, getting a golden retriever again, to finding the perfect breeders for me, and then to find out that they're one and only female dog. They only have two dogs, a male and a female. They only breed them once every heat. And obviously if they don't get pregnant, if the female doesn't get pregnant, then obviously next heat but heat with dogs is very different than like when humans ovulate <laughs> and um so she didn't get pregnant next time that they were going to be able to try was when work would never let me out for this amount of time and oh my gosh and then finding this guy who like the very next day by just posting out there just desperately posting what i was looking for and then having him IM me on Facebook and saying, hey, here's a situation. Also having in there somewhere <laughs> the possible possibility of getting a golden doodle. You guys have seen it all, obviously. <laughs> For me, it's been like a couple of months because <laughs> <laughs> the not pregnant situation happened back in March um, and now it is mid-May. So obviously like for you, it's been one video. For me, this has been an adventure and truth be told it started a year ago <laughs> so anyway today is the day and I'm going to really get ready for puppies so I'm gonna switch over to my phone and just hyperlapse me cleaning the heck out of my apartment and uh, getting ready for puppies so I hope you guys enjoy that on to the hyperlapse
mostly clean. I'm gonna still clean the kitchen later. I still have some dishes to bring up from this morning and last night. So, um, still have stuff to take away from here. My laundry to do. This monitor needs to go into the back. That still needs to go to Goodwill. That needs to be returned to Target. Whew. But what I wanted to do before I threw it away, this is what the shampooer picked up that the vacuum did not. <laughs> so I've been picking that up as I've been shampooing. And that is something that the vacuum didn't pick up. And there's still like little clumps. So once everything is dry, I'm gonna run over it with the vacuum one more time. But man, I think I'm gonna order some lunch. It is almost two o'clock. Probably is two o'clock, yeah. So I'm gonna order some lunch. Oh, and before anybody starts yelling at me for shampooing the carpet, before I bring home a puppy who is going to pee all over the carpet, I know. Um, I know he's gonna pee. I know that this is not gonna last probably past tomorrow. However, actually it won't last past today because every time I shampoo my carpet, Cosmo drags in mud. So um, he, I don't know where the mud comes from, but he finds it every time I shampoo. It's like he's angry with me for shampooing and then he goes and he finds mud, tramples in it, and then comes inside the house. Anyway, not the point. <laughs> the point is, um, back when Corvette was still alive, she had kidney problems, so she had accidents and things like that. And I may or may not have shampooed since then. I don't remember. I was cleaned up after that, obviously, but, um, it just makes me feel better to know that one, after her accidents and then after Cosmo's accidents during his, um, his UTI a month ago, which again, I tried to clean up as best I could, but just knowing that I've shampooed every ounce of this, plus I don't know if Nova has peed anywhere because she sometimes gets pissed off, but uh, it just makes me feel better to know that it has been completely cleaned out. So it doesn't give Apollo a reason to pee aside from the normal reason why he would pee, which is he just can't hold it. He's not potty trained, the, that whole situation. But the last thing I need is for him to smell dog pee from Cosmo's UTI or um, Corvette's pee that may be lingering or Nova's pee that may be lingering from a time she was pissed off. You know, and then go, ooh, I'm gonna mark. You know what I mean? So that's why I wanted to do a big shampoo before he came home. I know I'm probably gonna have to do a shampoo again pretty soon um, once he's been potty trained and I can trust that he's not gonna pee inside the house as much. I'm gonna have to do another one, which I know, which I understand. It's also why I haven't replaced my carpet. I've been meaning to replace my carpet for years. Um, and then when push came to shove and I could afford it, then I decided to get a dog. <laughs> So I'm not going to replace my carpet now until um, he is old enough to not pee everywhere. So probably next spring is when I'm thinking about replacing my carpet. So, but yeah, that's why I shampooed today. Um, no real other reason aside from just wanting to make sure that he didn't have a reason to mark anywhere. Um, I'm trying to reduce the amount of pee on my carpet as much as possible, which I know is not going to work. I know he's going to pee everywhere, and I get that. I remember a day in my apartment when Cosmo ran around my coffee table peeing. Um, so believe me, I understand he's going to pee. But this at least deletes one of the reasons why he may pee. That's all.